Today we are doing a cigar that only interests me, I guess. Because the color, the packaging. So we're doing Sancho Panza Extra Cheeto. Which sounds like Cheeto. Now have you eaten those cheesy Cheeto? So is this gotta be like extra cheesy? I don't know. So Without further ado, let's take a look at the cigar real quick. Okay, Sancho Penza Extra Cheeto Toro. Size is 6x52. MSRP $9.49. In a box of 20, total comes to $189.80. Uses Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and a filler that uses different primings of Nicaraguan tobacco. And also use Dominican Pioto that's aged in royal palm leaves comes in three sizes and you know it looks good and so we better get started and we are starting with a sniff holy cow the foot smells kind of like raisiny and the surface just a little bit like woodsy smell I'm a like free bark or something like that. All right, here we go. We will set it on fire. Ah, I cut that little bit and you want to crack. Okay. Mm. Woodsy, raisiny. A little bit of saltiness. All right, don't come up anymore. You see, this part I literally had no glue. There's no glue here. <laughs> anyway, only what you do it is you fix it real quick with the cigar glue now. People, it's not that I don't have enough moisture, I don't have enough bovita or anything like that. It just happens, man. It really just does. It really just does. I just have that luck to always pick up the one that has less glue on the cap on certain points. It doesn't always happen, though. There you go. Like this, no glue here. No glue here. Like this. No glue. I'll give it a little bit more. Right. As you can see, I can squeeze the foot as much as I want. It's not, it's not gonna have any problem. I stored this uh, new cigar in a 60 something percent humidity. So it shouldn't have cracked, but things happen. Now, I talk about the blend and I say multiple primings of Nicaragua. This is one opportunity to tell you guys, this is what I mean by the information of the region of these tobaccos. It doesn't mean everything. 
Okay, what I mean by that is it can say Nicaraguan, 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 right? Wrapper, binder, and filler. And you have another cigar that says Nicaraguan, 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 wrapper, binder, filler. They are not the same. They don't have to be the same. There's different priming, different factory, different location, different season, different crop. That makes it all different. This is why, like, sometimes these information uh, are not that helpful. Sometimes undisclosed are good. But for a reviewer, uns undisclosed sucks because it doesn't give us a hint of what it's supposed to be. So, as a consumer, it's not that bad. Let's get started. All right, here we go. There's like a sweet cream right on the first pop. Chili pepper. Cedar. Not make. Maybe cinnamon. Maybe cinnamon. A little bit of barnyanis. Well, that's all I got right now. So, I smoke one third. Be right back. All right, first third. It's actually not bad. Tastes like a sweet, creamy nutmeg. Uh, the barnyard kind of turned a little bit earthy, and pepper died down. The spice died down. Yeah, it's just mm, relatively sweet, smooth cigar. That's pretty much it. It's simple, but it tastes pretty good. I kind of like it. Not too bad. It's not harsh. It doesn't have uh, a lot of well, any of those negative flavors. Sweet. Barely hit medium strength. I think it's pretty balanced for what it is. Yeah. So let's go to second third. I'll be right back. Second third. Now I get a little bit of like a hidden cocoa flavor. And maybe just a little bit of clove. Very, very, very minor, minor, minor amount of saltiness. And the rest is the same. Sweet. Pepper is not coming back though. Pepper is coming back. I start to really fill my nose up with some pepper. But still, sweet, nice, smooth, easy to smoke, very relaxing. It's not a bad cigar. I really like it. Not a bad cigar. Um, of course, I want to show you guys the first band, Extra Cheeto. Not much to it, just that, Extra Cheeto. Get the point across, really quick, easy, Extra Cheeto. And now we're on Laster. Finish up Lobster and Lobster. Finish up Laster and then we'll go to the summary very quickly. All right, we are done. First of all, let's show this band. This band is what attracts me. This thing, this color is just out of this weird whole thought of what band looks like color. I like this color. I saw this color, I was like, I need to smoke it. The color is good, but it's very simple. Sancho Penza, Dominican. Right, very simple band, very simple band, but gets the point across. So, 
Cigar, pretty good. I like it. Uh, the last third, the flavor did die down a little bit, but it was a smooth, easy cigar to start with. Even if it died down a little bit, it wasn't that big a deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm drinking coffee. I'm smoking this thing, chatting. No problem at all. It's easy, smooth, guilt-free, no problem cigar. I like it. I would recommend it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, pepper did die down again. But that that's good for me. I don't know about other people. That's good for me. Flavor still there, uh, just a lot lighter, but smooth. Uh, you know those cedar notes. Uh, from the beginning to the end, there's always a little bit of cedar note. I think I failed to mention it because it's so normal to always have cedar note. But there is some some cedar note. But the cedar note does not overtake that nutmeg notes. That nutmeg notes is heavy. So it, it cedar's there, woodsiness is there, but it's like the back, not really. The front forefront of it, right? In terms of the cigar prices, I rate this cigar 11 and a half. I will pay 11 and a half for this cigar and not bad an eye because it was smooth, it was easy to smoke, it was good smoke time, it was good smoke output, it was uh consistent in, in a way. Uh, it didn't give me any trouble. The draw is not too bad. Overall, good cigar, 11 and a half, okay? So that will be it for this particular cigar. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our podcast, check out our swag, and check out our membership. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.